Hey guys, as some of you know, my Twitter account was hacked, my number was leaked, and on top of that, I received SWAT threats. I was unsure if I wanted to make this video, but I'm deciding to upload it now because I want to address why I took a break from YouTube, and I also want to use my platform to bring light to the situation. I never thought that this would happen to me, and I just want all of you guys to make sure that your accounts are secure, enable 2FA if you can, and just be as safe as possible. Also, I recorded the first part of this video the day that my Twitter was hacked, thinking that everything was fine and that the worst had already happened, but things escalated much more during the following days. So again, the first part of this video will talk about how I found out that my Twitter and email accounts were hacked, and the second part will address the more serious topics, including the doxing, the leaking of my private information, and the SWAT threats. So, I guess I'll start off with um, how I found out I got hacked. Okay, so I checked my phone as soon as I got up, and I saw like 10 different calls from people that I didn't know, and obviously I didn't answer them, but I was really curious as to who they were. So then I just checked Discord, and I saw that I had like 20 plus DMs, and I was like, okay, why are people messaging me? So I went and I, I checked a group chat that had me, Max, Wolf, and Luvinox in it. And Luvinox was like, Jess, check Twitter. I didn't check Twitter instantly because I didn't think that it would be anything important. But um, I opened a couple of my other DMs and they were like, your Twitter got hacked. And so I'm like, oh crap, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. And then eventually I opened Twitter. I saw that I got locked out. So I... I tried at first to like change my password, but I- okay, so I have like five different emails and I literally forgot the email that I used for my Twitter. Okay, post recording, what I said here is probably wrong, so not only did my Twitter get hacked, but one of my email accounts did too, and I'm pretty sure that the Twitter account was linked to this specific email and he deleted any emails regarding Twitter on that email account. I had no idea what I was going to do. Also, I don't know why this guy's leaving his bed when it's about to die. Is he okay? I got him. Okay, so I was panicking because I didn't know what email it was for and like when I tried to do the forget password, it was just a dead end because I didn't have my email. But I got a call on my phone from my friend Laser and he was also telling me um, Kenna just told me you got hacked, you should change your passwords to everything, that kind of thing. And then I received a FaceTime call from my friend Anna. You guys might know her, she's, um, she's British, but the same thing actually happened to her once and she knew what to do. She also experienced getting hacked and whatnot, so she called me and I'm like, okay, can we call on Discord please? And... So we did that. We went on Discord, and I also called with my other friend. One second. Okay. And she kind of advised me on what to do, because, like I said, she has been hacked before. And I told her about the Twitter thing and how I didn't have access to the email, or I kind of just didn't know what email I was using. And then she told me, okay, Twitter's the least of your problems. And that was kind of true, because I didn't really use Twitter that much. So I was just worried about my other things, like my other emails, um, my YouTube account, my Minecraft account. I was really scared at the time. So instantly I tried logging into different accounts, and the account that he actually had, it was my really old account. Let me try to kill this guy here, because it's a Nick. I don't think I'll be able to kill him. He has so many M's. Please. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. I changed all my passwords and the account that was hacked, I originally couldn't get into it because I'm pretty sure he changed the password, but I did have this verification thing on my phone. So I did the forget password option and it told me to log on my phone and check the option that said, is this really you? Are you trying to sign in? 
And so I did that and I got access to the account that I got hacked on. And I changed that password instantly. And then a friend of mine told me that my Minecraft account might be in danger. And he told me to change that password. And when I got YouTube rank, I got informed by the staff members that my account would be more vulnerable to attacks like getting hacked and whatnot. So there's something called Argus and it's pretty much a login alert system and I get notified whenever my account logs on to Hypixel, whether it's me or not. And earlier today when I got hacked, um, I received an email saying that my account logged on Hypixel and it wasn't me. So at that point I got really kind of terrified because what if he did something that would get me banned or muted? So I instantly changed that password but I, he got like a minute or two to do something on my account. I don't know if he actually did anything on my account. If he did and I get banned, then you guys know why. <laughs> but yeah, I changed my Minecraft password and then I got into a call with my other friends and they told me to change my name MC. Well, one of my friends did. Okay, <laughs> I was like, that's, um, that's kind of the least of my concerns. But funny enough, I checked NameMC and I saw that a different Discord and a different YouTube account were linked to that NameMC account. And so I just changed that. Also, before I changed the name MC account, I changed my Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And the thing is, hold on, let me let me kill this guy first. Okay, the thing is, if he got into my Facebook, he would have seen pictures of me in real life, and I've never done an official face reveal. It would suck if that's the way that it came out. And I was actually notified that he was trying to log into my Facebook account and it was one minute after I changed my Facebook account. So the timing was really, really nice. And he was also trying to hack into my Snapchat account and Instagram and everything like that. But thank god I changed my password for like all of them. And I enabled 2FA. But yeah, I really want to thank everyone who checked in on me because um, this is something that no one should ever deal with. He leaked my number, um, he leaked where I live, and I've gotten so many texts and calls. Wait, please don't have TNT. <gasps> please, no. Wait. <sighs> but yeah, um, I also want to put this out there that I've never talked to the guy who hacked my account before. I have no idea why he targeted me specifically. Also, no hate to him. I know he probably thinks it's like really funny. Everything's fine right now. Oh, I think he left, okay. I got my Twitter account back and you guys can follow me, I guess, if you want. Okay, so here's where things get juicy. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, what you guys just watched I recorded that the day that my Twitter account got hacked and I thought that everything was over because my information had already been out there and I thought that the situation would die down sooner or later, but I was wrong. So later that night, I went on Discord and a few of my friends messaged me that there were bots in Lobby 1 spamming my number and they weren't actual people. Xylan just programmed it to like spam my number and AFK and he didn't really have to actually be there. Also as context, I want to say that the person who hacked my Twitter account, I found out that they were associated with Xylan's, which is a well-known sniping group in Bedwars, and I never talked to them prior to the whole situation happening. I didn't know why they wanted to like mess with me. I talked to them afterwards and um, he's actually um nice. So like I said, there were bots spamming my number in lobby one and I was really scared because, you know, I I really didn't want people calling me or messaging me, especially since I didn't know them and I would be getting a lot of spam calls and I didn't know how to distinguish like which calls were important or which ones were just from people who were just trying to call me because they saw my number in the lobby. So one of my friends told me that if I went to the settings app on my phone and went to screen time, I could change the communication settings and make it so only contacts could call me or message me. And it made it so no one out of my contacts could message me or call me. And it worked. It, it did well at the time. But I realized that it was only a temporary solution and that I really did need to have my number changed because if my number was out there, like, that just wouldn't be good. And... I don't know if it's just me, but 
I was really scared to tell my mom because I just didn't want her to worry and I didn't know how to say like someone on the internet who I never talked to hacked my account. Um, she also knows about my YouTube channel and that I make like money from it and she always tells me like make sure what you're doing is legal and so like the fact that my information got out there like I don't know I just I got scared that she might think that I got involved in suspicious things which in reality I did not and I still don't I like I try my best not to get involved in that type of thing so I went to bed after like I found out the bots were spamming my number and then I told her the day after and she called T-Mobile and got my number changed. Okay, you guys need to know that I got my Twitter account back, I think the day that it got hacked. And how did I get it back, you may ask? So, um, Xylan is the owner of Xylans and he has his own like friend group. And one of my old friends, Toilus, I used to play better words with him and the person who hacked my account my Twitter account. It wasn't silent. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I'm not gonna say it, but the person who hacked my account, he was in a call with um, Zylans and their friend group, and he gave them information, like he was screen sharing it, and then he gave them the account information for my Twitter account, and Toilus messaged me the account info, and I changed it. Also, I just want to thank Toilus and my friend Anna for helping me so much. Toilus got a lot of hate from his friend group for betraying them, you know, he got hate for doing the right thing. I don't know what that says about this community or this world in general, but thank you, Toilus, for helping me. So, yeah, that happened. Um, and Zylan continued to spam my number. He hacked into my old forums account and posted a thread with, like, my personal information. He also spammed an address, which wasn't mine, thankfully, thinking that was mine. Um, he wanted the account, my Twitter account back, so he used Toilus as his messenger, I guess, and, and he proceeded to threaten me that he would swap me if I didn't give him the account back, and he said he wouldn't stop spamming my information, or he would actually, like, swap me if I didn't give it back, and I did consult a lot of people, and I don't know, they told me, like, don't give him the account under any circumstances, and... A part of me really, really did not want to because, you know, why would I give him the account? I told Toilus to tell him that he can't just, like, take anything he wants and he can't, like, have things handed to him. So I just said, no, I'm not giving him the account. And so he threatened to swap me. Um, I was going to tell my parents. I, I called with, um, a guy who'd been swatted before. I'm at, if you're watching this. Thank you for the help, and I talked to a lot of other people who'd been doxxed and threatened to be swatted before, and I was gonna tell my parents, I was gonna tell them to like call the police, but a few minutes later, Toilus added me to a group chat with Xylan, and Xylan told me that he would stop, and he did a vote on it with all his friends, and they said like, we should stop. So, <laughs> yeah, that's how the situation ended, I guess. Um... I talked to him afterwards, asking him if it would be okay if I made this video because I didn't want to make myself a target. But yeah, I'm really glad that the situation is over, hopefully. Um, I really, really hope I'm not making myself a target here and I just want all of you guys to be safe. But yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. I hope none of this happens to you guys. And also, I really hope that I'm not making myself a target here. I try my best to stay out of like all the doxing communities and ddosing communities or hacking communities in general and i apologize to anyone that i've hurt in any way i guess but yeah i really hope that i stay safe and i hope that you guys stay safe as well